Hey guys, this is Hunter here. I've got an Audi S5 S998 all wheel drive. I'm going to show you uh, how to tune for camber. Somewhat exaggerated horsepower and torque for uh, testing purposes. Now, what I'm going to show you first is the difference between positive and negative camber and its effects on temperature. And, and then on friction, and what translates into traction. I'm going to show you straightaways first, and then I'll show you the turns where it actually matters. Okay, camber settings. Let's go in here and take a look. I've exaggerated the camber on the rear wheels here to positive 5 degrees. I've done that so that we can see on the model of the car what it actually looks like. Um, then we'll look at the effects of positive camber. So if we go over here and we actually look at the car itself, you'll see that the top of the wheel is actually leaning outwards. Look at these rear tires, you can see it coming out of the, the fender well there. If you look at the other side of the car, that wheel is actually leaning outwards as well, at the top. Now what this means is the outside of the tire is supporting most of the mass of the rear of the car, which means that it's going to have the highest traction, the highest friction. In other, in other words, it's going to be the hottest. The inside is barely touching the pavement, so it's not going to help us much at all for, for traction. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat up the tires real quick here, and we'll take a look at the temperature differences between the inside and outside of the tires just to, just to get quick proof that that's what's going on here. Coming here to uh, heat settings. Now watch the outside of the tires. They're already 107 degrees. Um, inside's 98, and that's just for me backing up to this position. So we'll take off here. down pretty quick here. 30 degrees difference from the tires. rubber keeping the, the, the car from sliding off the road. Okay, uh, that's ridiculous. Now why would anybody want to put camber on their tires? Well, we'll get to that when we go to the cornering section. Now what I'm going to do is, um, while I'm letting the tires cool down a little bit here, in a minute we're going to switch over to uh, negative camber. So we'll bring the top of the tires in. We'll go ahead and change that real quick here top of the tires in. We're going to make it negative 5 now instead of positive 5 and it's going to be exactly the opposite. And this is just to prove that whatever part of the wheel is touching the pavement the most is going to heat up the most and it heats up because of the friction. Friction is good, it translates into traction for us. Um, you, can already, you can see that there's still a 50 degrees difference between inside and outside of the tires. Look at the tops of the tires leaning in on the rear both sides there and the bottoms out. Now this is actually the setup used for people who drift. Um, Gymkhana drifting. It does actually help traction when you go around the corners and all. Like I said I'll explain that in a moment. We're going to prove real quick that the uh, inside of the tire because it's supporting the mass of the car is going to heat up faster. We'll watch that again as I start out here and, and just Just 
proof that whatever side is, whatever edge of the tire, is also important to the center of the tire as well. But the part of the tire is touching the pavement. into tuning let's put it a little more realistic uh, negative camber setting on the uh, rear wheels here um, I won't show you exactly what I have this car set to uh, that shit you'll have to pay for <laughs> point eight sounds good negative point eight is a decent amount of negative camber I may put more on that um, but that's the part you actually have to test toe will be uh, another tutorial so let's go in um, Change, like I said, camber to negative 0.8 should work. Negative uh, 0.6 is often something used, maybe 1 to 2. That's the part you have to play with. The point is to try to get a balance between the um, uh, forward and rear rear motion, in other words, acceleration and deceleration on your tires to increase the traction, but have enough camber, negative camber on your wheels to have a very stable corner um, that you'll have to play with. If you start to slide around the corner, the rear is sliding out, you can add negative camber, in other words, make that value higher, but that'll also decrease your ability to turn. Exactly the opposite is true. If you're not turning enough, decrease it. 